Hello, it is Mallory Reese here. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the lunar, um, waiting the lunar cycle. So this is for the reflectors. This is the reflector authority. Now, reflectors are fascinating, fascinating beings. Um, you know, they're here to reflect. They are not here to energize and produce so much, but they are, you are here to reflect. Basically, the, like, the state of the environment around you or the people around you. Um, so your authority, <laughs> it's an interesting one, and you're going to probably be like, Mallory, like, that's ridiculous. How is that even possible? But your authority is to wait a lunar cycle before making a decision. Now, why? Why is that? So since you are not a solar being, you do not have energetic definition in your energy centers. All of your energy centers are open. They're all white. Some of them may be wide open with no hanging gates, no uh, numbers colored in. And some of them may you know, have some of those gates the numbers that you find inside the energy center shapes. <laughs> if you want to learn more about all of that, you can um, check out the Vitality by Design library and community where I take you through all the different aspects of the human design chart and we have a whole community to ask questions and all that good stuff. But so your lunar authority, so since you don't have any actual definition in your energy centers, you are not a solar being. You're a lunar being. So the rest of the energy, yeah, the rest of the energy types, they are more guided by the sun. They're solar beings. Now you are more guided by the moon. The moon has the biggest impact on you, which is why you need to wait the lunar cycle. Because as the moon moves through its full revolution around the earth, it goes through each one of those 64 gates and creates different activations in you as it travels around those gates. So it'll connect, you know, some days you may have a couple in your, if you look at transit charts or look at your lunar ephemeris chart, you can kind of see the different activations that will happen in your body graph as the moon makes its full revolution around the earth and and goes into each one of those different 64 gates. And this is the whole thing with sampling. So when you are presented with a decision that needs to be made, the best thing that you can do is stand strong in who you are. First know that you are worthy of taking the time to make that decision. Especially the big decisions like work uh, where you live, family, all that kind of stuff. You want to wait the lunar cycle because you want to basically sample how you feel in the different, like at, how you feel throughout that month about whatever the decision is that needs to be made. That is your, you, you know, you have honestly the longest decision making process of all the energy types and that's okay. That is how you are designed to live. That is how you are designed to be. And that is okay. You are inherently worthy of other people giving you that time to make decisions. So if someone comes to you and says like, hey, like, do you want to move to Arizona? And you say, okay, I need a month. Ask me again in a month. I will contemplate it over the next month. And, um, you know, ask me again or I'll get back to you, whatever one you feel more comfortable saying. And after a month goes by and you've kind of allowed it to almost like simmer in the back, contemplating, giving yourself patience and grace and like really mulling it over, noticing how you feel throughout the month. And then you'll come to clarity about what the proper decision for you is. So 
And I know, I know that sounds crazy. And I'm not talking about like little things like what you're gonna have for lunch. You do not have to wait, unless you really want to. <laughs> you do not have to wait a lunar cycle to figure out what you want for lunch, unless you wanna plan out your meals a month in advance, which hey, if that's like you, if you really want to, you totally can. But um, that's the big thing. It's like those big decisions, those big life-changing decisions. Um, if you are really taking, if you've checked out your signature and not self videos and you're really taking a look at, especially from the not self, like where in your life you're disappointed, um, you feel that disappointment. Then once you realize that, like giving yourself a month to see if you feel disappointed in that same area most of the time, or if it was just that day in that, in your lunar cycle or whatever, always the big decisions. Like if you're like, okay, I've been with this group of people for so many years, but <clears throat> I feel like just this heavy sense of disappointment all the time. <clears throat> Maybe the first day that you start to play around with that, you notice that you want to keep waiting that whole lunar cycle before making that decision to either stick with that group of friends or leave that group of friends. Um, you know, work, where you live, all that big stuff. So you really, you are a lunar being. The biggest thing that you could probably do in your life is develop a deep relationship with the moon. Really honor that goddess energy, that lunar energy, that soft, quiet energy. Um, maybe it's not those definitions for you. Maybe it's very strong and powerful and, you know, like use your verbiage, but start to develop a relationship with the moon and really start to be aware of what gates the moon is in throughout the month. Like the moon goes through about a little over two gates a day. You know, there's 64 gates, there's, a, I think the lunar cycle is about 28 and a half days, roughly. So, you know, obviously there's like a little more than two that it goes through, uh, like two and a quarter, two and a third gates that it goes through. So kind of being aware of like what gates the moon will be in day to day. Maybe that's part, if, if you're a more strategic person, if you're more left brained, uh, left arrow pointing those arrows up, in the body graph right by the head. If you're more strategic, maybe having like a morning routine where within that routine, you're always looking at where the, what, uh, what gates the moon will be in that day to kind of get an idea of the energies, the activations that you may be feeling, but really developing a deep relationship with the moon will probably be one of the biggest things you could do for yourself to understand your authority because your authority does lie without outside of you. It lies in experiencing the environment around you and connecting with the moon. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.